are watching Cold Fusion TV. It's pretty interesting when you think about this planet and the bigger picture that goes with that. Every piece of art and music, every invention that has shaped society, every experience that you've ever had, every point in history, every one of the hundreds of billions of lives that have ever lived, every empire that has come to power and has since faded away, have all been within the confines of this one planet. And when you think about it, our atmosphere is but a thin veil and the rest of the entire universe is only a hundred kilometers up. But the question is, what's it really like out there? And what's taking us so long to explore it? As it turns out, it's incredibly hard, as hard as rocket science to be exact, and it's incredibly expensive. But now, it's almost 2015 and all of this is changing. The age of big bulky government rockets is coming to an end, and private space travel is starting to become a reality. In this video, you will learn some of the latest stories about the cutting edge of space exploration. We'll take a look at four billionaires that are planning to take people to space for a lot less than what was once previously possible. Some of these billionaires want to do more than just take people to space. Elon Musk wants to build a city on Mars with 80,000 inhabitants by the year 2020. The ticket will be a seven month journey and cost half a million dollars. Now that sounds like a lot of money, but currently, just to send someone to outer space with a traditional government rocket costs $450 million. So you can really see that this is a fraction of the price. There'll be more on Elon Musk a bit later. Another billionaire, Dennis Tito, wants to send astronauts to Mars by December 2017. Yet another billionaire, Eric Anderson, the chairman of Space Adventures, has already started space tourism. And your advice, uh, final word then? Just do it. Don't let anything stop you. It's amazing, you think it's so difficult, such yeah. a long trip, but it only takes a few minutes. I'm getting really excited because I'm going to space. Engine ignition. Let's look at something that's happening right now. Sir Richard Branson plans to send people to space by the beginning of next year. Test flights are already happening. Let's hear a bit about his story before we head into what he's doing. I left school at 15 um, with pretty well no qualifications and spent the next five years uh, running a magazine um, and that was my education. I mean, going out, meeting people, interviewing people, asking questions, learning about life. And the thing I enjoy most about my life is the fact that I'm learning all the time. I mean, every new challenge I set myself or I'm set, uh, you know, I'm learning, learning, you know, learning about life, I'm learning about people, I'm learning about uh, something completely new. Sir Richard Branson is 95% of the way of getting space tourists to space. Earthly ambition is just so 20th century, in case you haven't noticed, a new space race is well and truly underway, whether it's taking NASA astronauts to the International Space Station or giving intrepid, uh, not to mention wealthy tourists, a truly out of this world experience. Growing numbers of companies are indeed looking to the heavens. I think in February you were saying it was going to be sometime this year. Where are you with that? I'm still confident that uh, we'll go to space before the end of this year. He goes on to say that the main thing holding them back was the rocket engines. It took them a while to find an engine that satisfied them fully and that they could be completely 100% confident with. He didn't want to rush things and wanted to make sure things were 100% safe. He plans to finish testing by the end of this year and he's on track to have the space service fully functional by early 2015. Over the, over the next few months we'll be doing a, a lot of test flights in the air and, and I think that by the end of this year, we will have gone to space. Um, and then myself, my son should go up um, you know, in, in the early spring of next year. Well, I think about 700 or people have paid deposits for this. Are you having any pushback from them? Uh, almost none whatsoever. Um, we're, we're now up to nearly 800 people. Um, and I think you know, everyone's been very patient. I think they realize uh, that it is rocket science, that, it, that they, they want to make sure that you know, we, we don't you know, hurry them up there, they want to come back. Um, and that's exactly what the team are doing. And they, they've done a fantastic job. Um, you know, I'm confident that we are as good as there now. You might be sitting there thinking, this all sounds pretty good, but like this doesn't have anything to do with average person or an average Joe actually going to space. You have to be a rich person to actually afford this. Well, in at least one way, this isn't actually the case. 
As it turns out, Land Rover has actually partnered up with Richard Branson to allow the opportunity for a person and three of their friends to win a trip to space as a prize for buying a Land Rover. It does kind of sound like something out of a futurist novel, but it is very interesting nonetheless. And the last person we'll take a look at today is Elon Musk. He got his start by making up an internet payment system, and I'm sure most of you have heard of it. PayPal. He then went on to start a successful electric car company, Tesla, and a space transportation service, SpaceX. Let's hear a bit about some of the guidelines that he follows. A lot of times, uh, you know, an entrepreneur will come up with something which is only slightly better. Um, and it's, it's not, it can't just be slightly better. It's got to be a lot better. A well, a well thought out critique of whatever you're doing is as valuable as gold. And you should seek that from everyone you can, but particularly your friends. It doesn't mean your friends are right, uh, but very often they are right. Um, and you at least want to listen very carefully to what they say. So it seems as if Elon Musk is going to make history three times in a row. Here's his latest project. We want to take a, a big step in technology, really create something that was a step change in, in spacecraft technology. So you, you'll be able to land anywhere on Earth with the accuracy of a helicopter. Which is, which is, I think, something that a spaceship should, a modern spaceship should be able to do. And it'll be capable of carrying seven people, seven astronauts, for several days. Really a big leap forward in technology. It really takes things to the next level. Let's take a look inside the spacecraft. Um, although, uh, it'd be nice to go inside. But for that, we will need a comically fast set of stairs. <laughs> So in something rarely seen, we're about to see a guy enter his own very functional spacecraft. So I'm sitting here in the <laughs> sitting here in the pilot seat. And pull it down. So the we've we've aimed for something with the Going uh, version 2 for the interfaces and for the overall aesthetic of something that's very clean, uh, very simple. Uh, and uh, so as, as the pilot, you're able to interact with uh, the, the screens overhead, control the spacecraft, and then we've got all of the critical functions that are needed in an emergency situation as manual buttons. That's what you see in this area here. So there you have it. We've just seen some interesting cutting edge stuff made possible just by individual people. All of the guys mentioned in this video had great ideas, but more importantly, they had the drive to learn to do things better. Better than everyone else, and better than all previous attempts. And I guess it's kind of true. A little bit of determination can take you a long way. Elon Musk got his start from an internet website and Richard Branson started off by selling magazines. So maybe you have a big idea. Giving it a go and investing some time into it may not hurt. Hey guys, the GoGo here. And I just want to thank you guys for watching the whole way through. You know, it was kind of a long video, but it did show you that you can really you have an idea that you're passionate about that can actually change the world in one form or another. So it's just always interesting to show showcases of that kind of uh, uh, idea. But anyway, um, I think it's enough of me talking for today. So. You know, feel free to subscribe if you like the video. There's a lot of other stuff on this channel if you want to check it out. You know, some, uh, uh, some all sorts of various interesting stuff. So, have a look around. Thanks for watching. And um, don't forget to share a comment if you liked it. And there's some special links to some other extra information and sources below. So, until next time, I'll see you again soon for the next video. And enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Thanks. Cold Fusion. It's new thinking.